I made <laughs> I made a huge math error on one of my videos that I did last week. So there's a driver who he made one hundred and ten thousand dollars from Uber and Lyft in 2022, but he only took home fourteen thousand dollars. Now, in the video, when I was calculating his mileage rate, I calculated it on his gross and I'm, I'm going to redo the math now. And I even made a mistake with the math. I got nervous doing my math live. So I'm going to I'm going to redo it. Right. So we don't know what Uber and Lyft's um, cut of this is. Right. And for the sake of this math, I'm going to give them a gracious 40, 60 percent split. I'm going to assume that they gave the driver 60 percent and that they only took 40 percent. Now, you and I know that's not really the case. It's kind of the opposite. But when I'm making a point, I rather give um, the benefit of the doubt to the statistic that's more likely to harm my point. Right. So I'm assuming the driver was paid better, which means that he would be taxed more. So it, it works against the point that I'm trying to make right now. Or does it? All right, we'll just do 50 50. We'll say Uber takes 50 driver gets 50. Right. Is that fair? That we'll, we'll, we'll work on that assumption. So $110,000 and we want to divide it by two. That's 50%, right? So let's, let's say the driver took home $55,000 after Uber and Lyft took their cut, but not, but like before taxes and expenses. So typically speaking, a driver has to work. The average driver, right? driver makes 80 cents uh, per mile, $55,000. And we're dividing by the 80 cents. He has to drive 68 thousand seven hundred and fifty miles in order to make fifty five thousand dollars now we know he drove we're assuming he drove sixty eight thousand miles now we would multiply that by the standard mileage deduction rate of 0.655 which was the deduction rate back in whatever year this was 2022 so he would get a tax write-off of forty five thousand dollars against his taxable income so we already know we're already assuming Uber and Lyft took um took 50%. That's a that's a deduction. And he was left with what was that number? Let's see my history. He was left with fifty five thousand dollars. So we say fifty five thousand dollars gross subtracted by his standard mileage deduction number that we just calculate, which is forty five thousand dollars and change. That brings his now taxable income to ten thousand dollars. And the reason I I'm pointing out this mistake is because the mistake I made gave him a higher taxable income, right? So I did the math down here in the comments, right? So I said I made a huge mistake. Someone pointed out that my American math is bad and I, I took it on the chin. But I, I'm be honest with you, math, mental math, I'm OK with it, but doing it live and then like I'm always trying to like not make mistakes because I cut these videos up and I put them out. But so I, I did make the mistake and he was right. So I made a huge mistake. If the driver made $110,000 and average 80 cents per mile, that means he drove 137,000 miles. That's because I didn't calculate uh, Uber and Lyft take, which would give him a deduction of 90,000. So I wanted to make sure I, uh, I did a proper correction to this story because even after my, my it's, it's closer to this, right? He's saying he only made 14,000 after expenses and taxes. And there's other write-offs that he could have too. Just because you use the standard mileage deduction doesn't mean you're not going to have other write-offs. Your cell phone bill isn't counted in the standard mileage deduction. I have a business phone just for Uber and Lyft and I have a personal phone. So I can write off hundred percent of my business phone plan in addition to using the standard mileage deduction. A lot of drivers are under the assumption that if you use the standard mileage deduction, you can't claim anything else, but the standard mileage deduction only claims typical car maintenance, oil changes, uh, gas. I, I don't know about insurance. If you get seat covers, that's not counted in the standard model deduction. You can deduct that. So be aware of those things. Go and research what those things are and aren't. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Maybe I won't. But it was important for me to do that, that correction. I'm going to be wrong sometimes. Be like that.